All right, well, we've taken a look at uploading one photo. Um, if you're using Picasa, it's even better to just upload them all at once. Uh, and you'll find that uploading 30, 40, or 50 pictures is even easier than uploading just a single picture. Because when you upload uh, pictures to your Picasa web albums, it does all that compressing for you. Um, and then it's just a matter of transferring it from one cloud, your Picasa web album, to your other cloud, your Google, uh, your Google site. So, as you can see, I'm in Picasa. I have a folder here called Camping at Maple Grove. And I've selected a whole pile of pictures. You can see them rolling down here in the tray. And I've even taken the time to pin them. I don't have to pin them, but they're in the tray. I want to make sure that these ones stick there. Uh, so I'm going to click Upload now. And when I click Upload, um, I'll see the name of the folder. Um, this is the, the name of the folder that I gave it. Uh, so it wants to, by default, it wants to give the, the pictures the same, or the, the, sorry, the Picasso web album the same name. So I'll click Upload, and I've actually already done this, but when you click Upload, you'll, you'll see the process. You'll see a, a colorful bar start to fill up. And when it's done, it'll say um, View Online. Okay. Um, so this is actually what the process looks like when it's finished. It says Camping at Maple Grove, View Online. So I'm going to click on, uh, on this here. And it'll take me straight to my Picasso web album. Okay, because this was just the one picture. If I go back to my photos, um, I can see here's the here's the full set of, of pictures, and I, and I actually uploaded 28 photos. Okay, some of which are edited. You can see some black and white pictures here of the girls and my shoe again. Um, anyhow, so they're they're up there. They're in your Picasso web albums, just waiting for you. So if I go over to my my web page, and here's the one where I just uploaded that single photo. I'm going to edit this page. So I've clicked on edit, it's loading the editor, and I'm just going to click here somewhere next to the shoe underneath. I'll press enter a few times just to create some space. I'm using my arrow key now to move the, you can see the, the cursor blinking here, moving it up and down by using my arrow key on my keyboard. And I'm going to press insert and it'll let me insert an entire Picasso web slideshow. So I'm going to click on Picasso web slideshow, and then it shows me what my Picasso web slideshows I have on my Picasso web albums. Uh, and you can see I've got a long list of them here, and it'll show you about the first six or seven pictures in each web album. So I'm going to go back up. Here's the Camping at Maple Grove. You can click anywhere, and it'll select the whole lot of pictures. There's 28 of them. And then I'll click on the word select in the bottom right corner. Okay. It asks me then, uh, this is the actual website of that, or the, U, sorry, the URL of that um, web album. It asks me if I want to go medium. I'm actually going to go extra large just to see how big that is. And notice it's, it's measuring them in pixels, so 600 pixels uh, dimensions. That will be the width of the, of the, um, the slideshow. We're going to leave it on autoplay so that when somebody arrives at the page, it's automatically playing. And I'm going to include a border around it. It puts like a kind of a fine line around your window. But I'm going to remove the title because I already have text on my web page. I don't need another title. Um, you know, it's a bit redundant. Then I'll click save. Now, when you do that, you can see here's the 600 pixel width. Uh, it's aligned to the left side. I can go center right. If I if I don't think that's big enough, I can go right back. I can click on Properties, and maybe I'll try Extra, Extra Large, and then click Save, and it'll be even wider. If that's too wide, you can go to Properties and choose a slightly smaller dimension. Okay, maybe I'll go back to Extra Large, 600, Save. Okay, it's up to you. You don't see the slideshow, not yet. You have to click on Save first. Once you click Save, and it's going to start to play your show right in front of you. So my changes have been saved. Here they come. And much easier to upload 30, 40, 50, 100 pictures, especially if you're taking all that time to edit them in Picasa, 
rather than export them one by one or group export. Um, and there you have it, uploading uh, edited pictures from Picasso to your web albums.